Well, hello, hello, hello. I guess you can see what we have in store today. A drawing of Pete the Cat from his story, I Love My White Shoes. Have you ever got a new pair of shoes, especially white ones, and you just love those white shoes because they're so white and clean and beautiful? Oh, I know the feeling, Pete. So uh, let's draw together. Pete the Cat, white shoes. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make Pete's body. And his body is long and thin. We're going to use a rectangle shape today in the middle of the page. Rectangle shape, long, thin rectangle shape. We're going to keep this simple and make it easy so that everybody can draw Pete together. Okay, we'll start with his head, and I'm going to start with something on his face, his nose. Right about here, I'm going to draw his nose. Little triangle right there. And then I'm going to make a line that curves and comes up for his head really high up on the page because his ears go there too and make the other side as well. And I tried to make them even. I think they are pretty much. Then I'm going to make a line that leans down towards the middle on both sides so that Pete has ears and then a curved line across the top for the top of his head. Now Pete has some really large eyes and they are down here by the nose. So I'm going to make a curved line here on the side and here on this side. And I'm making his eyes so that they touch the side of the face. So I'll start it here, curve down. Yes, yeah, same thing here. And then I'm gonna make a slightly curved line across the top. Or you could use a straight line if that's easier for you. Then I'm going to do the pupil of Pete's eye with a V shape, just like that. Looking more like Pete already. Very good. Pete has some long whiskers, so I'm going to do like, I think I'll do about five. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five curved lines on this side and two, three, four, five on that side. Pete's whiskers. Okay, he loves his new shoes. He is strutting his stuff. So we're gonna make his long, legs really long and let's go. We're going to use like a rectangle shape. I'm going to make this leg walking forward. So I'll make it lean down and I'll draw a line beside it Yes, and a straight line across the bottom because, like I said, a rectangle shape. Now, I didn't go all the way to the bottom of the page because we need room for the shoe. Okay, there's another leg in the front that comes down, so I'm going to make it come down, straight down, right about there. Okay. Then, uh, a little ways in front of the end of this rectangle, I'm going to make Another long rectangle for this foot, this leg and this foot. And then the one in the back, the leg in the back is going to start here and come down and then start here and come down to connect. So I started at the corners of the rectangle to come down. All right. Oh, and don't forget Pete's tail. So I'm going to make it curve just a little bit, nothing fancy. And then it's going to make a U-turn and come back around and back down. Ding. All right. Now we need to add the shoes. I have the perfect way to make the shoes. I'm going to start with like the letter L, but I'm going to make it a long letter L. I'm going to do that for each foot. I'm going to try to make them all the same length. I just go down and yes, and then this one. Good. And then after you've done that, I'm going to add a little bump right here, a little bump right there, 
on this side of this little rectangle, this thin rectangle for the leg, just a little bump. Okay, and then I go straight and then curve to touch the end of that first line. So I go straight and then curve down. Straight, curve down, straight, curve down. Okay, these shoes, oh yes, we need to add a, another rectangle, thin rectangle here at the bottom for the soles of the shoes. So I just come down, go way across, and then go back up. Down, way across, back up, down, across, and back up. And then uh, the front of the shoes have that white rubber at the toe. So just with the curved line, I can make that happen. And then there are laces, but I'm going to do just three um, slanted lines. One, two, three for the laces. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There. Now, Pete the Cat is walking along the sidewalk. So, I'm not going to put the sidewalk way down here because he's walking down the middle of the sidewalk. So, I'll be able to see part of the sidewalk behind his legs. So, it goes behind. This is the sidewalk. Goes behind the leg and continues here and here. And he's walking down the sidewalk. Yes, he's walking down the sidewalk, which is beside um, some grass. So I'm going to start a line right here that goes across and across and continues behind these legs. Pete is in front of what's going on back here. Yes. So he's in this wonderful neighborhood. So maybe we can add a few houses. Let's keep it simple. I'm going to put a triangle and then bring the side straight down for the house. Add a tiny rectangle for the door and tiny squares for windows. Now I'm going to put a tree beside this house. I'm going to make a slightly curved line, two of them actually and connect, and then I'll add a bumpy line that comes up and above. Most trees in my neighborhood are bigger than the houses, so there's the tree. I think I might add two more houses because he is walking down the street in a neighborhood. So, lean down, lean down, straight across. Lean down, lean down, straight across. I made these triangles look different because I want the houses to look different. And then bring the line straight down. They are so small because they're in the background behind Pete. I'm going to make this house look different. I'll put the door on the side and two windows side by side. So that these two houses look different even though they're shaped pretty much the same. Okay. And last house. I think I'll put a window in the attic. <laughs> okay, I'd add some clouds to the sky with some bumpy lines just because that's a big open space. I'm not a big fan of drawing a sun in the sky because I never look at the sun when I look up at the sky. I just don't, it's too bright. But I do look at the clouds. I am a cloud gazer. See how I did this cloud going off the page a little bit? I think I'll do one over here coming in from the side off the page. There. This one looks better than the first one I drew. And sometimes that happens when you make art. If you make something more than once, you get better and better each time you go. Have fun with this, this drawing from the story. Oh, and by the way, the title of the story is I Love My White Shoes. But you can see here that he has one white shoe, one blue shoe, one brown shoe, and one red sh shoe. If you haven't read the story, you ought to check it out so you can find out why his shoes are different colors, but he says he loves his white shoes. This was fun, fantastic, and quite an adventure. I love having art adventures. I love when I draw something one time and then do it the next time even better. I'm going to have to color this because... <laughs> This one's better than the first one. I had fun with you today. Come back and draw with me anytime. Art makes you smart 
and I enjoyed sharing this time with you. Mm -hmm.